What's up everyone and welcome back to the comms channel. There's been a lot of interest in Meshtastic lately and I've noticed that many of you have questions about it. So that's why I've decided to create a getting started with Meshtastic video series to answer your questions and help you hit the ground running with it. In this series we're going to cover a wide range of topics including going over the different devices that support Meshtastic and helping you choose the right one for your specific needs. Understanding the different antenna options and showing you how to test your antennas for optimal performance. A step-by-step -step guide to flashing the Meshtastic firmware onto your device and configuring your device settings directly from either your cell phone or computer. We'll also cover how to enable your own private encrypted channel. We'll also go over various deployment scenarios and help you find the best option for your needs. And we'll also cover many other Meshtastic related tips, tricks, and insights. But first, for those who are new to Meshtastic, let me give you a quick rundown on it. Meshtastic is an open source, community-driven project that uses affordable LoRa radios to enable long range, low power, text-based off-grid communications. These LoRa radios operate on the unlicensed ISM bands, which are around 915 megahertz in the US and 433 megahertz in Europe. So no license is needed on these bands and it supports encrypted communications. So it's a great option for those without a ham radio license or a great way to add encrypted comms capability if you already do. Meshtastic gets its name from one of its most important features, of course, and that's its ability for all of the devices to connect together to create a mesh network for easily expanding communications. One of the nice aspects of Meshtastic is its user-friendly interface, so it doesn't have a steep learning curve like some other communication solutions, making it accessible to everyone. While there are some initial steps follow for deployment and configuration, that's where this series will come in handy. Once you've set up your Meshtastic devices, it's easy to share them with friends, family, or neighbors because it uses a text message-like interface that most people are already familiar with from using their cell phones. I hope that you'll join me on this series of videos covering the ins and outs of Meshtastic. The next video in this series will dive into the various device options and help you pick the best one for your needs. If there's anything you would like to see covered in this video series, please leave a comment below and I'll try my best to incorporate it into it. If you're looking forward to this series, please be sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already done so. Thank you all and have a good one. I just want to give a quick shout out to the channel's recent supporters. Your support is very much appreciated and if you're finding these videos useful and would like to support the channel as well, you can do so by using the coffee link in the video description or by using the thanks button below the video. Thank you for your support and helping with the channel's continued production.